clutch clutch what is clutch 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 it's a little teeny bag you put your uh, lipstick in yeah it could be but it's also a charger and it is a high-tech charger it's very small and what you do is you it's whether it's it's a charging brick one of this they call them power brick power whatever they call them um, as you know I am very very low-tech in fact this is what I'm using for my light right now it is a little free selfie light that I got from T-Mobile and I have it hooked onto a thing of lotion that I use. So I'll be asking what kind of lotion do I use. I, I could do a little segment on that as well. But people always ask me, how do you get booked on movies? How do you get, you know, why do they pick you, David, and not somebody else? And that's a fair question. At my level of acting, they're not going to wait for me. Now, if, if, they, if they want Tom Cruise on a movie and say, hey, Tom Cruise, can you call me back in, in, in an hour? And Tom Cruise doesn't call back for three days. That's fine. But as I say, David Gardner, can you call me back in an hour? That means call me back in two minutes or one minute. Or can you do it right now? Can you pick up the phone? Pick up the phone. Uh, are you listening? Are you screening your calls? Call me back. Bam, 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 bam. I have to call at that kind of level because I'm not hard to replace. If I was a great actor, if I was Tom, Tom Hanks, if I was Tom Cruise, um, Kevin Costner, all the male actors, um, George Clooney in my age range, they'll wait for me. They don't wait. But anyway... I need to always be able to respond immediately. Now, in my phone, which is an uh, old phone too, <clears throat> Samsung Galaxy S10e, it's old, it's an Android, uh, I have to be able to store photos in there, which I do. I store some photos. I have a little blurb I put together um, with links to my channel, the YouTube channel that you're watching now, or my acting reels, or my photos, or my Instagram, all that. I can shoot that out. I can't send... You know, I can't sit there and select photos like this and whatever, but if I'm on set and they say, David, I got this role for you, please let me know. But if I'm on set, I'm not allowed to use my phone because I'm filming, you know. It, it's a lot of people don't let you use your phone for one reason or another, but this was because I cannot do it because I'm being filmed. What if I'm doing a film from 1932 when I'm on a cell phone? You know, there, uh, there was one of that on, on Mr. Bean. I can't remember. He was traveling and he's using his phone or video camera, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, something that didn't exist. I think it was, it was like Civil War, or maybe whatever, I don't know. But I have to be able to respond like that. So what if my phone is dead? What if my phone is dead? So I bring these big charging bricks. And what happens is I charge those charging bricks. And if I don't use them immediately, I have to go and charge them again the night before. Charge them, charge them, charge them, charge them. So if my phone is dead, I cannot respond fast enough and they will find somebody else. They like me. I like them. They're nice. I'm nice. But as we know, it's all about business. So they have to hurry up and get it done. They have to get this thing all booked. Um, maybe they maybe with films in tomorrow. You know, and that's how short notice I get sometimes. And that's fine. As long as I get notice and I get to work, I'm happy. So that's the problem I come up with on set. Sometimes there's no place to plug your phone in into a wall charger type of a situation because maybe you're out in the field, um, maybe you're, you're filming a lot, you gotta keep your phone with you, turn it off, whatever, keep with you and charge it. So, also on being a classic car owner, do you own a classic car? We have a classic car. Now she does have her little cigarette lighter that plugs in. Um, some of them came with cigar lighters. I don't know what they look like. I, I, I do look up things about that. So, I can charge in there if I'm in the car, if it's running or whatever, but that doesn't really work. It, 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 sometimes the lighter works, sometimes it doesn't work. So I put the plug-in thing and it's really not reliable. So I use these bricks. I have one, I have a couple of them. That you've seen them where it's maybe blue on one side and black on the other side. And the black is for solar. And I can put it on the dashboard of the car and leave it there. And I get a little bit of charge that way. But I have to charge it the night before. Now. The one I'm talking about right now is called The Clutch. And I'll put the link down below and all of that. So you can look it up. Uh, I think it's clutchchargers.com if you want to look that up. It takes 45 minutes to charge the charger the night before or whatever. It holds its charge. So you, you throw, throw it in your purse and it'll fit in a wallet. Put it back in your phone, back in, in your pocket, in your, in your bag, whatever. It's going to hold that charge. It takes 45 minutes to charge up the charging brick. 
the clutch, and then 45 minutes to charge your phone. Mine's an Android phone, so I ordered the Android one. There's some talk about making a standard charger where everything will be like the C charger, or they'll have a name for it. It'll be Android, it'll be Apple, it'll be whatever it needs to charge. They're saying it's not really fair to have all these different kinds of chargers. I don't really know. What do you think about that? I don't know. But this one here has a magnetic thing. It clips right, you can slap right against the back of the phone and a little teeny cord and you can charge it in your pocket. No one needs it. has to know what's going on. It's called the clutch. So if I'm in my classic car, plug in the clutch. One problem I have with using my big charging bricks, I'll plug those in. I don't have a place. The car doesn't come with a, you know, cup holders or places to hook your phone. So I pull out the ashtray. It does have an ashtray. Pull out the ashtray. I can set the phone in the ashtray sticking out like this. Close the ashtray. Partial, you know, all the way up so it's locked up. And I let it lean forward and I can do that. But if I put my charging brick in there, it's too heavy, it'll fall down. So, But if it's clipped on the back, if it's a magnetically held, held on the back from clutch, clutch.com, that is more successful. It works better. So I'm going to do this. I will do, I will show the product and talk to you guys about how it's working uh, for me but in order for it for me in acting at my level i have to be the first one they see if, if mine if they need somebody for tomorrow and it's two o'clock in the afternoon right now it's 305 if it's three o'clock in the afternoon let's say and they need somebody tomorrow morning and they close at five the first guy that looks kind of like me is going to get that role so i gotta make sure the first guy that looks like me is me so that's what I do with this. So if you're an actor, if you're a singer, a dancer, or if you, it, or maybe you're a babysitter, maybe you mow lawns, whatever it is, and you need to get response just like that, if there's a bunch of people that can do the same job as you, you gotta make sure they know about you first. I'm first, hey, I'm first here, look at these. Here's my photos, here's my reel, here's my channel, here's, some, here's my resume that shows all the different shows I've been on and where I've had speaking roles. You don't put a lot of background on that. It's a super featured uh, background. You don't have to put that on your resume, but you know my commercials are on there, my appearances on talk shows, Jim and Jimmy Kimmel, that kind of thing, um, and some of the principal work I've done, it's on there. So if they're looking for somebody that's like maybe they're looking for a really good featured background role, I want that role. Am I overqualified? No, <laughs> no. If it's print work, how can you be overqualified for that? You know, hey Dave, we're gonna take some photos of you. Great. So I have to be the first one there. So clutch.com. Clutch Charger. I think it's ClutchChargers.com. ClutchChargers.com. I'll look it up. I'm going to put in the in the in the, uh, uh, the um, comment section below a link. And if you want to save 20% on your first order, all you have to do click that link and go for it. So this is kind of like a uh, a sponsorship of the channel. Uh, they they're gonna, they want to see how I do at this level maybe they can they can up it maybe we can give out some free prizes what if what if, what if they allow us to raffle off a couple of uh, of these chargers wouldn't it be great uh, these, these uh, charging bricks that would be great if we're allowed to do that i mean who knows uh, the the sky's the limit but you'll save 20 percent. pretty cool so i'm gonna put it down there take a look at it go to their website i'll show you the product um mine is on its way it's on its way but from all I read about it, all the reviews, I found them by reviewing <coughs> good charging brakes, you know, best charging brakes. And although I'm super low tech, I tell you right now, I'm right. I showed you the video. The I, I made a video that showed my uh, tripod. It's an octopus tripod. So if you look it up, you'll see octopus tripods. It, it has, it's, how tall is it? It's that tall. And they have these bendable legs. So instead of having a huge tripod, which are nice. I can take the small one, I can hook it to a ladder, hook it to a chain link fence, I can get some elevation on that. Right now I'm having it just regular sitting on the desk next to me, so it's pretty versatile. It's called an octopus charger, octopus, um, it's what they call it, I, I don't know. Is it a name brand? I don't think so. <laughs> it doesn't, sure doesn't sound like it. And I showed you my little light. I do have had, I had a ring light that I had, a bigger one, I don't know where it is. And I have a selfie stick. I do have a professional microphone. Uh, it, someone got it as a Christmas gift. I guess they didn't like it. I found it in the dumpster uh, in a box, brand new, never opened. You know, they had the tape, like they taped uh, Christmas wrap on there or something. Got it. I got it out of the trash. Well, I went to dump my, my garbage. I looked down. Hey, that looks like it hasn't been opened. What is that? And I was looking to see if maybe giving it a mic. Not one of those little ones that hooks on. Those are nice. 
this is like a old fashioned hello and what are you doing blah blah back and forth one of those kind so um, I found that and I have that and so that's my entire equipment like, you know, selfie stick sometimes I'll if I'm like at Starbucks I'll I'll hold it hold the phone or prop it up on books or, you know or something or find a way to balance it one time I put on a peanut butter jar a big peanut butter jar and slide it up against my computer because I was in a hurry to get filming because I had to go to set and I wanted to put out something real fast so uh, yeah I'm real super low tech but this is kind of a high tech um, uh, charging device hope you like it I'm going to put the link down below thank you everybody have a great day tomorrow I think I will shoot a long video based on working out and exercising in this heat everybody's going mall walking uh, it's like everyone's kung fu fighting in the 70s and now everybody is going mall walking so it's very very crowded very you know very, very, it's hard to get around people and there's a lot of people out there in the in, in the in the mall so i found ways to mall, i do mall walk uh so i also may do one on, on exercise and heat. i have some of those before uh in earlier videos if you watch some of the earlier videos you'll see one of me exercising during a heat wave and this will be a new one a brand new one and i'm going to actually think i'll take the camera along with me and show you one of the things i do okay everybody have a great rest of the weekend it is sunday take care